what is up guys it's captain rex production 72 and today i have a review on 75078 and i'm guessing this is an imperial stormtrooper battle pack i don't have the box unfortunately i can't remember what i done with that probably threw it away by mistake which is terrible um this is a star wars rebels base set it is from the january 2059 it's one of two 2015 sets i own so don't expect any more reviews on this because i'm not reviewing the death Star though um don't know the piece count for many figures all the same so ultimate battle packs not too many battle packs came with like four of the same minifigure anymore so yeah um now the con of this set is one the star wars rebel stormtroopers and the other con is they all have stud shooters, which isn't that bad because they've got some function, but they just don't look as good as regular blasters. Now, the set obviously is not in scale, so if you know what I mean, like it's not scale scaled to what it would be in the Star Wars universe compared to the figs. But yeah, we'll um, start off with one of the mini figures. Pull the camera back. Right, so, you guys can see. Regular Stormtrooper, Star Wars Rebels Edition, got the stud shoot. I'm going to fire that at the camera. Landed right here. You get an extra four of these in the set, which is handy because you get four Stormtroopers. Um, the printing is okay on this method. Got some back printing, got some back, it shows you the body suit. You can tell them Star Wars Rebels because of the mouthpiece. And if I take the helmet off, got that angry cone face, but if you are a true Star Wars fan, you will know that the Stormtroopers are not cones. Very few of them are cones, but mostly recruits and brainwashed people. So, I'm just going to quickly bring in an original trilogy Stormtrooper for comparison. So you can tell right away that these minifigs are different. Now, in terms of guns... The original trilogy one does come with the original blaster, I just don't have it on him at the moment. But I'm pretty sure you guys know what an original Star Wars blaster looks like. Now, in terms of face, it's the exact same. Angry cone head. Now, you can tell the differences by pretty much the whole fig is different. Now, the body, um, you can see a bit more of the thermal suit on the Rebels version. And the leg printing is different, and the helmet you can tell right away is completely different. But yeah, we'll move him away. Now, all of those mini figures are exactly the same, so I'm not going to show you them all, I'm just going to pull them out of the way. So, yeah. Here is the um, vehicle. Now, this in, is in the Star Wars Rebels. It does take like prisoners and transports. Um, well, it transports prisoners, stormtroopers, imperials to different locations. Obviously, it's not to scale because it is much bigger. Lego have um, not yet released a to scale version. Now, got some guns at the front. Got kind of the window, kind of one screen. Same on this side as at the back. I'm not on the back of the side. On this, well, the back end, not much. Look at, do get some flick fire missiles, which I will flick at the camera. Epic fail. So, um, turn that round, and this time I will try and flick them. And as you can see, it did not go that far, it just stopped at the instructions. Got some roll pieces on top same sort of thing on the bottom now where this set comes in feature wise is all of these on both sides you know, all of them open up so yeah I know I think there is three, of, three or four of these on each side of the actual in universe vehicle but this might as well be micro fighter scale to be honest because in terms of scale it's sort of like the um 7680 the twilight it is nowhere near to scale to the minifigs it's sort of like that in terms of scale so you fit two on this side turn it round you can get the other two stormtroopers 
roll it. It is a quite a cool vehicle. So, this one does not want to close for some reason. Yep, there we go. Turn that round. So that is what the vehicle looks like when it is carrying the stormtroopers. Now there's an added one, as you see, it's, see these um, pieces that they put on the bottom to stop it from scraping wood surfaces. Well, if you look closely, it kind of doubles as a floating feature from certain angles, it's as if the ship, well, vehicle is floating. Now if you don't recall these vehicles from Thor's Rebels, they're in um, Season 4, Episode 1. That's like the most recent episode of I believe they're in, but you know, um, I'll have to go back and watch season four again because I don't think they've released any new episodes for that since the ninth one. But yeah, now I was saying earlier there was extra studs. Now if I remove these two stone troopers, pull these down again, push that through from the other side. Now I'm not going to look. At yes, I am. Yeah. Now in here. This crate, it's on like a stretcher type system. It's got those little pieces that go through that way. Got those, it's kind of like one of those 2013 sets, you know, the ones that had all the holocrons and crates. So it reminds me of that. But yeah, I'm just going to take out the stormtroopers. You don't have to take those down uh, but to take them out. I do believe you'd have to take them down and put them in though. instructions. Technically this is what the box art would look like. Got the Rebels logo, Disney, it's got all the studs about the about the place, crate, all the stormtroopers. Um the really kind of a stormtrooper up there. The instructions have a total of well we're to find out how many steps. There is 30 steps in here, but there was a couple of sub-steps, I believe. I recently rebuilt this set for the purpose of reviewing it. So, yeah. So, yeah, that is a review on 75078. Now, I will actually, in the title, put the real name for this set once I check that, because I'm a bit confused. Um, well worth getting. I'm going. I'm considering getting another one of these sets. I only own one, just for a few. Because I wouldn't like some more stormtroopers. Just a shame of the Star Wars Rebel version. I do believe this would go for twenty pounds. You are new or used on eBay, but for that same price, you could get the O8 dropship. So, like Storm Imperial dropship, which comes with the original stormtroopers and a shadow trooper. So, really, it's up to you. I don't own the other one. I only own this one. But yeah, please like, comment and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.